Is Sir Roman coming for him? Well, how do I look? How shall I receive him? How shall I give his heart to the first impression? There's a great deal in the first impression. Shall I sit? No, I won't sit. I will walk. I will walk up to the door and I'll prompt his entrance door fully in front of him. No, that will be too sudden. I will lie. Yes, I will lie. I will see him in my little dressing room. There's a couch. Yes, yes, there's a couch. And I won't lie neither, but lie and lean on one elbow with one foot jogging off in a thoughtful way. And then when he appears, I will start a start surprise and rise to meet him in a pretty disorder. Oh, yeah. hug! There's a couch! If he told you he'd marry her, then he's a no good, dirt crawling liar. See, because he never marry her. He can't. He's married to me. Now you listen here, you greasy little runt. He's my husband. He's married to me. He loves me, and he can't help it. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't go running around spreading little lies like that. Understand this. I will never get over loving Reed Hooker. Because even when I don't know who I am, was, or will be, the only thing I do know in this world is that I love that rotten, worthless son of a bitch. I can't live without him. I blow my brains out. I shoot you to pieces. I'll rip this motherfucking place to the ground. But by God, I have to have that line double-crossing, one and only love of my broken life.